strange, strange GP, but uh, I think you'll be delighted to come out and st- maybe not win a moto, but you won the big prize and won the overall. And it's only you, you obviously missed the first round, mm-hmm. so already to stand the top step of the podium must must feel amazing. Yeah, um, missing round one for, due to a uh, thumb injury. Sorry, um, wasn't wasn't very easy, but I just wanted to, to work my way back into it slowly and, and build up. And I think um, that's exactly what we're doing right now. We just. Uh, Got to keep the head head straight, you know, and, and keep doing what we're doing. And two very different motos. Um, you mm-hmm. didn't get a great start in the first moto, but you ended up third. Yeah. There was a lot of chaos. And yeah, then the second lot. moto, you got a good start. And once you got into second, did you just kind of know that the GP was in the bag? And Yeah, first moto, I really just had a very bad jump. I, I touched Langefeller, I think, and then Elzinga. So I was in the middle of it. I think I was around 12, 13, and... and I got two spots for free there at the end, uh, and I ended up third. So I didn't really, <laughs> didn't really expect to finish third at Moto. Um, and second Moto, I, I went completely to the inside at the, at the gate, and just stayed away from all the chaos actually, and, and did my thing. It took a little bit too long to pass um, Moto Corsi. Um, I, I think I had the pace to maybe stay with uh, Simon. Um, but then once I had clear air, I, I, I had a quite okay rhythm. But obviously, I knew I was in a in a good spot. So mentally, it was just tough to, to keep going. You know, I just kept telling myself one more lap, one more lap, one more lap. And um, with sort of five minutes to go, I, I kind of relaxed. And what was the track like? I mean, when we came here, they seemed to put quite a lot of sand on top, but mm-hmm. it was still very hard there at the end. I thought and pretty technical. Although they did do a bit of track prep in between. Mm-hmm. But it still looked pretty technical out there. It's always, um, it's, I don't think sketchy is the right word. Yes. It's a difficult track, yes. but it's a very technical yeah. track. You know, it really sets apart those those details and it, it punishes you. You know, if you go too hard, um, don't focus. But in my opinion, the track has always been like this. You just have to respect that certain line. Um, and uh, just find a way to flow it. And obviously picking up the injury just before round one, how much of a blow was that? Obviously you guys, all you guys worked so hard throughout the winter to, to go to round one and try and not lose the championship at round one. So for that to happen, it must have been a kick in the teeth really. Yeah, at that moment for sure that day, yes. Um, but actually for me, uh, I, I got over it quite quickly. I just um, had a talk with myself and, and just said let's stay positive and and just keep working and, and do what we can do, you know, and, and then we'll, we'll go from there. We came back in Spain, I think that went, went quite well, you know, i only been on the bike once or twice that week before. Um, that's how Dina struggled, but we ended up fifth anyway. So we're just um, keeping, our, keeping our heads, you know, every, every point counts. And at the long, long run, it's, it's 20, G, 20 GBs. Yeah, 20. So it's a very long way, so anything can happen, and, and we're just going to... Keep going and uh, keep collecting points. And just on your winter, what was your winter like? I was speaking to Harry Norton at Hawkstone and he said you'd made a step in winter. Obviously you couldn't show it at Spain, but you're already showing that you're, yes. you belong at the front. I had a very nice winter actually. Um, a lot of my time I spent in Portugal uh, together with Paul's Jonas actually. Okay. So I had a lot um, from Polski, you know, just chatting with him, training with him on and off the bike, you know. We are quite similar characters, so it's nice to, to talk about that mental side as well and, and just basic things in life, I guess. Um, we get along very well, and uh, yeah, I've known him since he, he kind of stepped into MX2, you know, my dad coached him back then, so uh, he's a very cool guy, and, and it was a very nice winter with him. And I'm glad you brought Portugal up, actually. Are you living there now? Sorry? You're, are you living in Portugal now? Um, or have you just got I like a family, a of, house? Yeah, yeah, family yeah. house? Is that because Belgium, what they're doing with the motocross? Yeah, is, it's very, it's quite a mess actually. Yeah. Um, but it's been going on for quite some years in Belgium. and uh, Luckily we still have Wommel, um, which is, and, and Genk then obviously. Um, coming back to your question, uh, I spent a lot of time in, in Portugal just in the winter time, just uh, for good weather. Yeah. We have quite some good tracks yeah. and um, in the season I spent my time just uh, at home in Belgium. Okay, okay. Uh, just on Spain, one thing I did notice actually, you were quite good at the start of motos and making quick passes. I feel like before you might have waited to the end of motos for the track to get really rough and technical. Is that is that something you've worked on? Because 
in Spain you impressed me at how many quick yeah, passes you were making. I just think it, it kind of comes with um, experience. The more races you do, the more you start to see and, and get better at certain things. If you notice like, okay, I'm missing a bit here, I need to work on that, but try and improve it in some way. Uh, Dad and I, we, we saw these things and, and, and just try and get better. And how closely are you working with your father these days? I know he took a little step back, yeah. a, maybe a year or so ago, mm-hmm. but are you back still working closely with him? Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, I think uh, some weekends are a bit difficult, but in general it's getting better. He's and better also and working better. with Pauls and Alberto yes, exactly. too. Is that For that can be a good that's, thing? That's a very yeah, good yeah. Thing, you know, just having uh, Pauls and Albi. Of course, Albi's injured now, but just having him on the side and, and just taking a bit of that uh, attention away from me, only from me. You know, um, I think that helps him as well. Perfect. Thank you for your time.